like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer Hello friends and allies and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna check out the boss Brokul which is located in Grey Island and the boss became popular again with the rebalancing of some items which boosted the deepling fork and the ceremonial dagger. With the boosting of the items the value also increased so if you check out the Antica market we can see that um, this one is around uh, 2kk, while the other is actually between 10 to 15kk in value. So therefore the Brukel boss becomes rather nice, since the boss only takes a couple of minutes to farm every day. To be able to kill the boss, you need to have done the secret library quest and the liquid death mission. Not the entire secret library, but just the mission. And Right now we're going down to the Brukel boss area here in Grey Island, but let's first talk about some of the mechanics with the statues. So to be able to enter the boss area, there are 9 statues in total which each person needs to press to be able to gain access to the room for each time you do the boss. And when you're pressing the statues, uh, the boss will spawn with less HP if you are more people pressing it than just yourself. So if you're, let's say, um, three people, it will be 27 times the statues are pressed, which will make the boss spawn with less HP, and more deeplings will spawn in the boss room, which will make, which will attack the boss. So if you're just looking at um, me running now, I will be doing the statues, but I'm gonna post a picture right now where you can just pause the video to see where the statues is located. Or you can simply just watch me running and pressing each statue. In the boss fight you can maximum be 5 people and when attacking the boss it will also spawn some deathlings and depending as I said before on how many statues you press they will spawn more or less deeplings. The boss deals melee, death, fire and holy and has some self healing as well and it's immune to fire, ice and earth damage. So it's a good way to either using uh, sudden death runes or physical damage for instance. Uh, I were thinking about which level do you need to solo this boss, as my level it's uh, not a problem at all. So I think it's a combination of uh, seeing how much self healing it does depend and your damage. Because it doesn't deal that a lot of damage if you're standing at its side and it doesn't get hit of the beams which it does, which you can see a lot, which has high damage. So I think it's enough with being 500 to solo this. And if you have one or two friends, this will be not a problem since you will spawn the boss with less HP and more deeplings attacking it. 
So with pressing the statues and killing the boss, it only takes around 4 to 5 minutes for me to do this. So I think this is a fairly good boss to be farming if you would like to get some of the... Uh, not uh, new items, but the new items with the balance, which became rather worth to have. Since it's a good to have a weapon, which both work on an MS and on an ED. It's a budget weapon, but if you don't have the cash and you want to farm some extra, it's a good way to get that cash. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you will enjoy the Brucal boss and farm it every day. Since it's a rather easy boss and not very time consuming, since you can do it yourself. Anyways, see you guys in the next video.